We've talked about adding data and adding formulas, but what happens when we want to edit cells? In this tutorial, I'm going to talk mainly about simple editing on work done on your own that only you will edit. Now the reason I say this is because in Excel we have the ability to lock cells, set permissions, passwords, make workbooks read only, and we can do this by clicking on the file tab and following the options through info on your menu. Now that's in Excel 2010. It is different in Excel 2007. In 2007 you click on your Microsoft Office button and then follow the options through prepare on the menu. We'll take a look at permissions and how we can set these permissions in a later tutorial. Okay, there are three ways of editing your cell when you're working on your own and the first way is to click on the cell and then double click that allows you to make changes to the cell that you're working on. So on this one in B10, I can delete 22 and make that 23. If I press the enter button, that changes to 23. But not only that, because it's part of a formula, our formula, the answer changes. OK, second way, we can go up to our formula bar click on our formula bar and then we can make changes from our formula bar so I can make that 131 and then if I click on the tick that changes it to 131 and that not only changes our total in the formula but it also changes other formulas relating to it and the third way if I click on a cell and then if I press our F2 key that will allow us to edit and I can change 53 to 55 that's how we can edit our cells when we're working on our own without permission set now you may have noticed that the bar at the bottom changes when you're entering data or editing data so currently we have it ready if I was to click on the cell and start entering data 7, the status changed to enter. If I move away and then go back to it, double click like I've just showed you, that changes to edit. Now, this bar across the bottom is called the status bar and it can display information to remind you of what's going on. If you right click over the status bar, you can customize it yourself by checking or unchecking on the menu. For example, if we want to have caps lock, click next to caps lock and then if we lock our capitals it's shown on our status bar it gives us information to remind us things that are going on thanks very much